why are we so obsessed with taking selfies? It has become so popular that they actually tag this generation or identify this generation as the selfie generation. So some say that it's a, it is a new form of self-expression. Others claim that it's something shallow or narcissistic. Or is it? So good afternoon, my name is Ingrid Nieto and I will be your moderator for today. And joining me, okay, we will be discussing selfies and why people love or hate them. Well, I, I love to take selfies. It's fun. <laughs> now, is the selfie generation really all about me? Let us find out. So joining me today are Alora Guerrero, entrepreneur and publisher of review.com.ph. Hi. Good afternoon. I'm also, I also take a lot of selfies, by the way. Yes. <laughs> but I don't usually post them. I usually just share them with my family and friends on uh, pri private messages. Yes, Facebook. private yeah. groups. All right. And then we also have, of course, Rocco Nasino. He's an actor. <laughs> I assume you love to take selfies. <laughs> and your fans love to see you and your selfies. Yeah, of course. It comes with my line of work. Sometimes mm -hmm. it helps market myself. And it paves the way to connecting with my supporters and fans. Right. Yeah. And of course, joining us also is Reniel Hernandez, yeah, editorial hi. and lifestyle photographer, and he's also the co-founder of Sino Pinas. Yeah, yeah of course. I, I mean, a, photo a photographer, I mean, you have a camera and I always shoot, so why not shoot yourself also? Right. <laughs> and show it to people. You have the advantage, some of the right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. and, yeah. Actually, yeah. And you know the right angles, the right lighting, and everything yeah, else. That's right. The right techniques. Mm -hmm. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Taking the perfect selfie. Exactly. Yeah. You have to give us a crash course later. <laughs> For sure, yeah. After live. Yeah. Yeah. And then we have to apply it and we have to teach all of those watching us. So for those watching us live, you can, if you want to comment or if you want to ask questions, you can post them on Facebook or Twitter with the hashtag selfie expert. So now let us begin. Mm -hmm. All right, so who is the selfie generation? So why do you think so many people, especially the younger ones, why do they like taking selfies? For me, it's just like it's more of expressing themselves, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, they, uh, they're able to go to this certain place, like uh, uh, a scenic place in Baguio. Yes. And they just want to share it with people. It's it's a usual thing now. Like when they see something nice, no, I have to take a selfie. I have to yeah. share it with my friends, right. with my family. So it, it starts a conversation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And usually even, I think even before, like if, if, you, if you like to travel, if you like to traveling solo, it's mm -hmm. no excuse, of course. Nobody's going to take the photo for you. So yeah. you really have to improvise. You have to exactly. take a selfie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But now, even if I think you're traveling with a group, it's, mm -hmm. I think it's kind of accepted it's now. Yeah, it's right? normal. Right? Yeah, you, have, you, all, you have selfie sticks as well, right? right. That's why yeah. you, that's very popular right. when mm -hmm. you go abroad. And you or can anywhere. get it anywhere. Exactly. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's really available mm -hmm. anywhere. Mm -hmm. But for me, no, it's selfie generation. We always say millennials and all that. But, you know, I have a tita who's really, <laughs> who's really into, into selfies. selfies. Yeah. He, she always posts on Facebook. You know her her selfie, so I can't really say this is. But it's yeah. restricted to a certain yeah, yeah. age. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and even before in selfies, na yan, you self portraits, na yan, it's not just. I mean, it goes a long way back, na mane, right? Mm -hmm. right? I mean, even the. It's a self expression, and when we say self expression, we have dancing, we have writing, we have mm -hmm. a lot of uh, a lot of types, and for example, we have the painters. Yes. Si, who, sino ba? Si Vincent Van Gogh, my self-portrait. Si Leonardo da Vinci, my portrait. And that goes what? 1500s pa. Yes. So, yes. 1986, for example, si Andy Warhol, which is uh, the, one of the greatest artists in pop, uh, uh, pop art, di ba? So, she, he also has this very famous uh, self-portrait. So, it's not just, just like right now. Of course, it's selfie na hashtag and selfie na word na yan. It's just now, but it's really, it really goes right. far way, way yeah. back. I guess they didn't have the devices back then. Now it's just yeah. so easier for us. Exactly. Yes. I think Anytime. it's the technology. Yeah. That's where technology comes in. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. And how about you, Rainia, so, um, as a photographer? I agree with them both. Um, I mean, in today's digital age, I mean, it's pretty easy to like take selfies anywhere, anytime, like in any way you want. Mm -hmm. And for me, it's just, it's simply like capturing um, moments mm -hmm. and like showing, sharing people your experiences with on that certain moment. Like it be like seeing a, a nice landscape of a mountain or something mm -hmm. and you exactly. take selfie with it. Mm -hmm. So you share at that moment to people how great the view was. Exactly. Right? 
and then so, with you in it, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so good it, to be like right. be there. Just exactly. take a picture. Yeah. Tell me that you're really there. Right. <laughs> yeah, so the it, it may it maybe it, it can be like just a li live update to people mm -hmm. or, or simply a memory to yeah. like for yeah, yourself like and to share. also yeah. yeah. Right. For recording purposes. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. At the same time it, it it's it it's also a way to preserve memories. Like I exactly. remember yeah. my Lola. Which I lost last year, mm. and I remember like posting a picture of us two and scrolling through my my pictures and seeing lots of pictures of <laughs> us together. But I'm sabi ko, buti na lang selfie ako sa But it it, it yeah. makes me remember her, and it actually captures the, that it um, stores memories for you. Yes. But uh, it's not always about telling people what you're doing. Mm -hmm. It can uh, remind you of the past and the good memories. Right? Yes, and of people, the mm. memories yeah. you have with people. Yeah. So, what's your personal take on taking selfies? Is Well, there are some people, like we mentioned earlier, they think that it's narcissistic or they mm -hmm. think that it's shallow. What's your personal take on it? Is it a good or a bad thing? Uh, for me, it's not because I'm like, that kind of person who, for example, I see a, an article that says, mm -hmm. you know, um, these are the 10 things that uh, women over 40 must, must not wear or something like that. I don't believe in that. I'm that kind of person. And, if, you know, just, just let them wear whatever they want to wear. So it, it's the same thing same with, with selfies. selfies. Yeah, same thing with selfies. Just let them do whatever they want to post, whatever they yeah. want to take. I mean, Take OOTDs, fine. Take food uh, pictures, right? Fine, no problem. If you don't really like it, then just you can just unfollow the person, right? Mm -hmm. so, right. Yeah. It's, it's self-expression. Just mm -hmm. it's not like we're breaking the law, right? Or anything. We're not hurting <laughs> yeah. people yeah. for exactly. taking selfies. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So it's exactly. shallow if you unfriend a person just for that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And usually with people, some people may tend to be like um, uh, too much of an introvert. Mm -hmm. na ayaw sa tao. Exactly. Yes. So they can be one way of like uh, expressing themselves. Coming out of the box. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Through those selfies. Um, through selfies, like uh, if that if that's their way of talking to other people or um, saying how they what they feel for the day. Mm -hmm. um, but but right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Okay. And now, um, do you take your selfies? Have you taken a selfie today? I have not because I came from taping and I was so <laughs> tired. I tried taping, taking a selfie, but I, I just, my eyebrows were just. He said he just went home just to take a bath. <laughs> oh, really? Wow. Yeah, I went straight here. Okay. So, no selfies for me today. Maybe later. later. And they would be thinking, right, for somebody like Roko, like he's an actor, they'd be thinking, oh, yeah, maybe he probably takes like five or, you know, like a ton of selfies in a day, right? Like that, that, that misconception. <laughs> but yes, but you, you, you yourselves, you enjoy taking um, selfies. How often do you take selfies? Huh. When I'm with when I'm with my friends, with your, with your, yeah, 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 with your friends. It's one way of uh, bonding with, with friends and right. having a good time with them. Mm -hmm. When you're all having a, a good laugh, a, a good meal together, of course that's a, hey, this is selfie. This is a selfie worthy picture. Yes. I don't mean, you with your friends, if you, you know, just enjoying mm. your time together. And you, you did mention earlier, like as an actor, right? it is part of your yes. it's part of your job. It's part of so my job. So how does it play? Yeah, it helps market myself. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's say I'm wearing a, I'm wearing a, the certain brand that I'm endorsing. Of course, yes. Kailangan ko kunan yan. It's one way of endorsing uh, um, my endorse my endorsements, giving exposure to my endorsements. At the same time, marketing myself. And you have to make yourself. Uh, be seen mm -hmm. always. You have to do your best to do that. Yeah. How important is your mobile phone for you? I'm always on my mobile phone because <laughs> <laughs> I'm working almost every day and I don't get to watch TV. I'm not always up to date with, um, with the current events. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I go to, um, to the internet to update myself with what's happening around. And uh, I'm always um, posting pictures about what I'm doing and the projects that I'm doing. So my phone is always really, really important to me. Yeah. Virtually, you're with you're with your family and friends. Yeah, yeah. We have to thank the mobile phones, right? Yes. Yeah. For, Everyone, for yeah. at least we don't Everyone have to have <laughs> uh, you know we don't have to bring our own brush and paint set. <laughs> exactly. Just to yeah. Like right now, because like before, I mean, mobile phones. You have the first uh, phones with selfie camera uh, with front cameras. Only have that VGA camera. Right. Point yeah, zero yeah, yeah. point three megapixels. I remember that. Very right? pixelated. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I mean, you know, uh, that was in two thousand three. My first phone that that have uh, selfie. Um, I mean, front cameras. 
So, and then the next year, Tamang Tama, which is really interesting, Tamang Tama in 2004, that's when the hashtag selfie was used for the first time on yeah. Flickr. And then, so makikita mo ngayon yung technology that, that really, that really pu uh, pushing this kind of, uh, you know, the, this kind of lifestyle. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then in 2000, 2012, diba, naging, ayun na, naging one of the buzzwords na siya ng time. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then in two, 2013, even the word selfie is, has been, well, it was officially recognized by the Oxford English Dictionaries already. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, yeah. And then, dun na, so 2000 plus na yun, 2010, 11 na yun, dun na yung mga may 8 megapixel uh, yeah. front cameras, right? And now 16. And now we have 16. 16. Yeah. I think goodness. you have that. I do have yeah. The Oppo F1S. Yeah, yeah. it saves, man, it saves the trouble of having makeup on. Yeah. <laughs> it has this like, beautiful edit or something. Yeah. Yeah. So you can take selfies and then make sure that... Uh, the, the resolution is really nice. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. still come out nice. And right. before, you know, like when you take a selfie, you will just, you, you'll take a photo mm -hmm. and then after that, you edit, right? Right. But right now, we have real-time na, real-time editing. So when yes. you take a selfie, you can just edit it before taking that picture that you want. Yes. Yeah. And so that's, that's something really, we cannot undo. Yeah, it's really yeah. technology. It's, it's, yes, it's helping. part of our lives. Exactly. Right. You're right. And it's normal. It's, normal not, now, yeah. it's the new normal. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like we can say, okay, we'll, we'll make a bunch of rules and we can undo it. Yeah. It's already, yeah. yeah, it's part of people's, it's the, it's part of the lifestyle, part of technology really? yeah. in everyday life. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So people have long been expressing themselves. Now, it, before it was mostly through traditional ways, just like singing, dancing, writing, and like we mentioned, making self-portraits mm -hmm. through painting and photography. Now for Alora, can you talk about how self-expression has evolved through the ages? Well, I think I mentioned that earlier, you know, like, um, well, I can't really say it. I'm not an expert when it comes to self-expression when it comes, because each of these, um, each of these, like, for example, dancing, painting, yes, it has its own rich hi history. So I'm just, all I'm saying is, example, kanina, na 1500s pa lang, meron ng ganyan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, see, uh, Da Vin Vinci has a, uh, the one, the man with the red portrait, red portrait or something. I, I can't remember the uh, the name of the painting now, but that's very uh, that's a very famous self portrait mm -hmm. of uh, right. Vincent. I mean Leonardo da Vinci. So I mean it goes far way back. It's just that maybe the technology is really you know it it, it really helped. Like with the ease, it's it's just there right now. You just take uh, just. Anywhere you go, yeah. Anywhere you go, you have a phone. That and when you have a camera, it's like what so big, yes. right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, the old, old cameras. Exactly. So you can't bring them with you. Of course, mobility is, it helps. Yeah, it's smaller now. Like we mentioned yeah, earlier, factor. plus the yeah, the camera fr front facing, and even for for no for photography, yeah. right? The, Usually, the smaller it is. Yes. Now it's better, and it's like it's more convenient, of course. Mm -hmm. Like when you're traveling, I mean. You can you can use it anytime you want mm -hmm. without like thinking about the weight and stuff the hassle yes yeah. and i think also for for cameras now uh, with the tilting lcd right yeah yeah it's becoming a yeah it's becoming a need now yeah. <laughs> so there for Rainel, how do photographers really perceive the term selfie especially when put side to side side by side with the more so. formal traditional self-portrait yeah well for me uh, as a photographer um, there's a difference between the two. Like, um, selfies are just uh, simply a form of expression. Like, uh, like saying hello to your uh, friends or family mm -hmm. or doing a live update or something. Yeah. So that's selfie. Um, as compared to um, self-portraits, there, there's more to it. Mm -hmm. So not just um, like updating people. Um, like, I can say, there is an art to it yeah. and like you need more things in order for you to have a good self-portrait mm -hmm. so like yeah you have to think outside deeper. the box yeah, yeah. deeper mm -hmm. and think about your purpose why doing it mm -hmm. so yeah for me yeah, there's a difference 
Mm. Right. For those of you joining us online, please, if you would like to join the conversation on Facebook or Twitter, please don't forget to use the hashtag selfie expert. Okay, have there ever been um, instances wherein you saw friends or family, acquaintances, or even strangers making use of the selfie to do something good or helpful, whether intentional or not? Mm, I've always seen the selfie, like when I see a post, it has always been, uh, uh, I see it as a conversation starter. A conversation you know? starter. Yeah, exactly. But uh, that's, uh, an example would be me taking a photo in Las Vegas. Okay. And uh, my friends and family would tell me, hey, I, I was there just last week. And th did you go to this place and this place? Why don't you try going to this place? So it starts a conversation. It's one way of socializing, uh, socializing yeah. with other people. So, yeah. yeah, it starts a topic. So, mm -hmm. and eh. so Engagement. Engagement, yeah. yeah. Engagement with friends, family, and even with people you don't know. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Same mm. with, yeah, sure. same with um, Instagram, especially on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Like, um, in order for you like to gain followers, I mean, in my experience, you have to like engage the people. And well, before like I re I'm not really a fan of selfies, and now I'm, I mean, I'm doing it now. So because before, um, you're the one behind the camera. <laughs> yeah, I'm always behind the camera. So, and uh, and yeah, that's why, that's why now I'm trying to like start taking selfies in order to engage to people because sometimes mm. um, people relate to you more if I you're in it. You know? yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a study Actually, that, you know, when there's a face there, it's it usually more gets engaging. more engagement. Because, right. mm. yeah, like, for example, um, um, for me, like, you can take a good photo of a landscape of like a mountain, a beautiful mountain, and it's really good as it is, but um, if you put like a subject or yeah. you in it, mm. it sure. becomes like it, there's, there's a something. deeper meaning yeah. mm. and it becomes more like dramatic. Personal it's more well. personal yeah. and as if um, when your followers see that photo of you with that beautiful mountain, um, it's like um, you have a story feel, to tell. Yeah, and it's like they're in it also mm -hmm. in the photo. So like feeling the same thing mm -hmm. as what I felt during that time. Mm -hmm. wow. So yeah, for me, it's really helpful if you um, show yourself sometimes, yeah. like sharing especially the, yeah, sharing the purpose of yeah, people. especially to your followers. Nice. Because there's one um, um, incident like I don't really post selfies on Instagram, and then when I posted for the first time, like there were more than ten people who messaged me like, and said, <laughs> "Now, oh, it's you." Now, <laughs> pala. <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay, so now it's a personal na siya and right. yeah. more parang, in a way parang friendly approach. Mm -hmm. na siya. Like you can like if I'm a follower of someone, parang I can approach that person anytime I want. Like mm -hmm. it, so yeah. It's really a thing now and it, it helps. And like, usually yeah, like people. organizations are also using it for a good cause as well. Like um, it, there's this cancer research um, organization in the UK who used a hash, hashtag selfie mm -hmm. to um, make people donate to the cause of cancer. Mm. Yeah, so that's right. um, cancer research, I mean. So I think, yeah, I mean, with organizations like that, you, big organizations like that using selfies to um, you know for a good cause I think you know really well it's Spread everything's awareness. a lot of yeah. good things about selfies as well also yeah. one more thing like with uh, WWF um, like the World Wildlife <laughs> Fund so they usually have these ads like um, dead animals with mm -hmm. poachers beside them. Mm -hmm. So in a way, um, it shows people like how people can be like cruel mm -hmm. to animals. Right. And, yeah, mm -hmm. like it just destroys um, the environment and it makes people aware mm -hmm. if you yeah. see ads like that and photos yeah. mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. to be a form so, of awareness yeah. also. Yes. Yeah. yes. And on the that's a good thing about selfies yeah. at South Portraits. Aside from that, it can be, it, it, selfie sex has um, we have expanded to more of a business, like yeah. uh, spreading the word about your business, taking exactly. a yeah, selfie yeah, yeah, in front yeah. of your restaurant, right? Yeah. Right, uh, giving exposure to the name. So it has become a business also. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, you can, you can. Which is good for entrepreneurs. For entrepreneurs yeah. like you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yes. So yeah, it is a it's a good thing. I mean, there are a lot of good things about it. So mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we've mentioned a lot. Would you have any interesting personal anecdote on taking selfies that you can share with us? Mm. Personal. <laughs> personal. <laughs> personal beliefs, sir. But well, yeah, I like what um, Alora said earlier. We can't really just put down rules and we can't yeah. say, hey, that's bawal. Yeah. Yeah. It's bawal to post 10 selfies in a day. Who are we to say that? Yeah. Right? Yeah. That there's a limit to it. Yeah, but yeah. sometimes people get like too sensitive. Uh -huh. Too sensitive, like when we post too many selfies. Like in a minute, you post like ten. <laughs> Some, there, there are. There's always that one person in your barcada, let's say, that would post sure. <laughs> too many selfies. And one, uh, for example, a friend would say, "Hey, go easy on the posting." Yeah. I mean, but like what she said. It's it's a form of expressing yourself. If it makes you happy, why why stop? Yeah, yourself, right? exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But for some as well, it's um it's a way of chronicling their journey or their growth. Like mm -hmm. we see that a lot. Like uh, on Instagram, there's the fitspiration, mm -hmm. yeah. and even there are a lot. Oh of my God! Yes, right? from uh, you know you're probably like 150 pounds to 200 yeah. pounds, and then you get to to 100 pounds. It's a way for I mean it inspires other people yes. right yeah. Yeah. and then it inspires yourself as well mm -hmm. like wow i can i can do this so yeah why why not <laughs> i mean you can do this journey you can give strength to yourself as well that mm -hmm. you know i will continue on with what i'm i have started so yeah and you did mention earlier the well the selfie because of the real time essence of it right yes, it's yes. like we didn't produce this just so you know to, to fool other people that hey i yeah. can lose weight but it no they, they see you like you're in the gym mm -hmm. you're running yeah. you're working out you're mm -hmm. eating and yeah. this is the portion that you're yeah. eating so it's yeah. it's it's real yeah. maybe yeah. even pregnancy for example exactly. I, saw, I saw that one i mean i mean i i can't remember now who, but yeah there was someone who chronicled her uh, pregnancy mm -hmm. so it's mm, yeah, yeah. It's a way, I mean, it's something so personal. It's a diary. And yeah. yeah. You, you would it's love to share with your child um, nine, uh, how many years from now, yes. <laughs> right? Mm. Yeah. This and is where you were. <laughs> you won't be afraid to lose it because the internet will be like your storage, storage bank. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> <laughs> so it'll be there forever when you, you can look at it whatever yeah. you want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the people who saw your like photos, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can, I mean, you can ask them like... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it can be a, like a, a random act of um, inspiration. Let's yeah. say with the landscape photo that you just said. Yes. That, um, let's say I'm going through something and I scroll down and I see that landscape picture that you yes. posted. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Can like um, can be out of the blue serve as like a way to lift myself up. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. You, sometimes you're you don't down, know. Right? Yeah. Sometimes yeah. you don't know. You might be just doing some good for going back yes. to the happy moment yes. yeah yes. yeah bringing that sunshine into their day yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> now we have this comment from facebook from selisor bibet from singapore she says selfie is normal but should be very careful because some had an accident someone had an accident from posing so just enjoy and know your <laughs> limit <laughs> what to expose yeah if, yeah if they have what they call yeah. the boobies buhay shots yeah. right? yes yeah. so well, yeah I, I've, I've heard of that like you know i mean but <laughs> well, yes, guess, just be careful. Yeah. I guess, be careful I mean, like that, like that. Too much of something is bad already. Yeah. Right? So mm -hmm. it should be um, like you, should, you have to do it in uh, moderately. It's like, for everything, no one's even doing it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, right? So yeah, don't. But it's not too much. Yeah. Some people go to the extreme, say. Let's say. Um, like to explore something. Yeah. yeah we you would see videos of um, kids taking mm -hmm. selfies on top of a building. Oh, you know, that's, right. that's, that's one. Way of going now. too far and posting it on social media just to like gain followers right. to make themselves known for that small chance of being famous. Yeah. They go, I mean, you sometimes they life. cross the line. Eh? Mm -hmm. yeah, so, it's too much. sometimes we have to know th that, that there's a thin line of going right. over. Yeah, so know your reasons and safety yeah. first before safety that, you know, that perfect shot. Yeah. Yeah. No, <laughs> selfie, no selfies while crossing yeah, the road. It's all, about, <laughs> it's all about your purpose, I guess. Yes. Yeah. That's what makes it good and bad. Yeah. Is there anything as um, right or wrong types of when it comes to sharing selfies? What's acceptable in your opinion? Hmm. You can't <laughs> you can't ask me about that because you know my position mm -hmm. about that already. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, no, Rocco, as an actor. There's no right or wrong wrong someone in this discussion and with selfies. I'm I'm always good for it. 
you know. Um, if, if it's a form of expression, just go with it. Yeah. I mean, if, if you're happy with what you're doing, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, go for it. Also. I think we Filipinos are really, you know, more into self-expression. Because no? we, mm -hmm. <laughs> we all know we, we top in the top yeah. cities in the world <laughs> yes, that, that are selfies, into selfies, selfies right? right? Number one is Makati and Selfie Pasig. capital in the world. Yes, yeah. exactly. One is Makati and Pasig. Mm -hmm. Number nine is Cebu. Number 16 really? is Baguio. Oh, wow. And then 59 Baguio. is Quezon City and 72 is Iloilo. Wow. wow. <laughs> Iloilo. Yes, <laughs> yes. Wow. That was back in 2014 by mm -hmm. a time study. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. 2016 now. Let's this see what, what, how the numbers have changed. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure it has gone off. I don't know. Now, what piece of advice would you give those who love to express themselves by taking selfies? And what about the naysayers? I guess for the naysayers, don't be too sensitive when you, when you see selfies mm -hmm. of people, friends, you know. Um, it's always good to have an open mind mm -hmm. and yep. think of, um, be more optimistic, you know. See the positive side in things, why, why, why he or she's doing a selfie. Maybe because she's having a bad day and taking a selfie would help boost her confidence for the day. Uh, or um, um, for those who love taking selfies, just go at it. If you love, if it makes you happy, go for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I can, it's the same with what he said. No, I mean, if it makes you happy, mm -hmm. if it's a go form on. of art for you, I don't know. Some sometimes it's art, and you just <laughs> you you want to edit it. I I don't really care about you know editing as well the photos. Um, if it's if it really makes you happy, go for it. You you're not really stepping on other people's toes, right? Yes. I mean, it's not like you're killing someone yes. mm -hmm. or you're <laughs> stealing something from someone. This mm -hmm. is so so. Uh, I mean, it's so self-expression. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, just go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, I agree with the both also. Um. I mean, it's in it's in our nature to share things, to share to share. Um like our personal lives to people, to other people, to our family, to our friends. So, I mean, why, why will you stop someone from, I mean, doing like a natural thing for human beings, mm -hmm. like sharing anything? So, yeah, especially, I mean, if you're really happy doing it, if you're doing it, I mean, it, what, it, what, if that's what makes you happy, I mean, go for it. Go ahead and do it. Yeah, and I'm sure that with the naysayers, it, uh, as when it was coined the selfie, um, we have been more open nowadays with selfies and how it helps people. I guess just just don't overdo it. I mm -hmm. mean, to yeah. the point of like it's what I said earlier, like risking three your albums life. full of three <laughs> albums. <laughs> A day. No, safety. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's always like what what he said earlier. Um, um, just. Just don't go past the line. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Okay, so interesting discussion this afternoon. Thank you again to our wonderful guests. We have Rocco, of course, Alora, thank, thank you for you. joining us, and Rainio. Continue thank inspiring you. us with your selfies. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, different forms of self expression that you have. Thank you to everybody who joined us on Rappler. Again, you can uh, still um, join in the conversation by using the hashtag selfie expert. Again, my name is Ingrid Nieto. Thank you for joining us for today's Rappler Talk. Thank you. Thanks, guys.